Hi, my name is Sir Waish. Today I would like to introduce you to a Python library called Gradio. I learned about this library in a recent webinar I attended. So let's take a look at this library, know why this library will be a major library in coming time in field of AI, machine learning etc. So here is Gradio library. The primary use of this library is to provide interface to run demo models that would otherwise would have to be run in either runtime terminal, or would have to build a complete interface using Tkinter and this would have taken a lot of time. But Gradio is easy to use interface providing library. It only takes a single line of code to make a simple interface. Let's firstly try to make a simple interface for a greeting program where user gives their name as input and hello username is printed. First, we will see the simple code for this and the we will add interface using Gradio. So here is simple hello code. If we run this, here is not a very interactive interface for this program. But now let's add interface using Gradio. Add this line to the code, I have given this line of code in description also. So here is the code to add interface. Now if we run this code, we see a much better interface that is quite easy to use even for someone who isn't from technical background. Now we can also change the theme of this interface. Just go the Gradio website them to quick start and then to theming option. We can find many themes in here. To incorporate a theme in our interface just look for the deployment space name. Copy this name with the following code. We can see that the theme for this interface is completely changed. Now let's take a look at what other different components Gradio offers. Anyone can incorporate this components anywhere they want. I cannot go through each and every component one by one in this video, so you will have to read the documentation a little bit, but it's worth investing some time in it. Gradio also offer an interesting way to build a customized theme pack. Just paste this two lines of code and run it. We can see a interface is opened from where we can change different parameters to make a new theme. We can also see how certain components will look in after apply the theme. That's it for today. Please like this video and share with others.